Hi, in this video, we will see how to scrape LinkedIn users data from search engines without required much human effort and with complete automation by just running a tool. This tool gives you the option to define keywords for the designation of people you want data from. It also offers the option for multiple keywords. After defining locations and all, you can scrape LinkedIn users email addresses and mobile numbers. You can get this software tool from the link provided in the video description. You can download it, and once you do, you will receive a zip file exactly like this one. You need to extract it and open the folder. When you look at this folder, you will see three files, two drivers, which I will explain their use later. But first, you need to open the third software, the .exe file. This .exe can run on multiple systems because it doesn't require a license key. You can run it on any number of systems without any installation result. When you open it, you will see an interface like this. First, you will see options like this, starting with a keyword prompt. Here, you can click on edit to define your keywords. Keywords just mean the type of data you want from people. For example, I have defined founder here. After writing founder, I can define another keyword, like CEO. These are relevant because people generally like to write founder and CEO in their bios if they are the founder or CEO of a company. So, I have defined these two keywords. After defining keywords, you can close this modal directly. Next comes email types. Here, you will see public emails like etc. If you select public emails, these types will be scraped. In custom domains, besides these common ones, business emails with custom domains will be scraped. However, generally, I believe that LinkedIn profiles are created using these common free email types like Gmail or Hotmail. So, I am selecting this option. After that, it asks for the phone number country. Here, I am selecting the United States, but you can select any of the available countries. Next, it asks for the number of pages to start with, meaning which page you want to begin the scraping from. It will then run a query on Google, using the browser, and ask from which search result page to start and up to which page to extract. You cannot define more than 100 pages for one scrape. I think for the demo, 5 pages of data is good because I need to complete this video. Next, it asks for the Google location, similar to how we define the location in Google filters and settings. So, I have selected the US here as well. After that, it asks me for the location where the extracted data will be saved. So, I will define the desktop here. After defining the desktop, it asks for the format. First, we need to define the file name. It's better to keep a relevant file name since I assume you will be scraping data with different keywords. For example, I have named it Founder CEO Data US. Next, it asks for the format, either Excel format or HTML format. It's good to always go with Excel format unless you are more familiar with HTML, which might give you the data in JSON form, which could be confusing. So, I think Excel format is better. Now, the most important setting in the browser section is that Chrome is set by default. Below Chrome, there is also a setting for anti-robot driver mode. This is primarily for Chrome, but to enable it, you need to install the Chrome driver, which is already included in the zip file. However, I haven't done that yet, so I will select Firefox here. In this case, I don't need the anti-robot driver mode, which automatically solves CAPTCHAs, because it's only for Chrome. I will select Firefox and click on Next. After this, we click on the Start Process button. Once I click on Start Process, I need to click OK because this disables all browser alerts. Now, this will take some time, but this software is very fast, so it doesn't take much time to scrape the data. 
The scraping has started, and as you can see on my screen, we are getting the data one by one. We just need to wait a little until it finishes completely. Well, I was going to pause the video, but it didn't allow me the time to do that because it has already scraped six rows of data for us. Now, you might be wondering why we defined five pages in the search results and expected at least 20 to 50 rows of data, but it only gave us six rows. Here's something to understand. It ran a query on Google and fetched publicly available data. It used the end operator, which means we needed both mobile phone numbers and email addresses. If even one of these was unavailable, it didn't fetch that data. Since only six pieces of information were publicly available across the five pages, that's why we received such a small amount of data. If we want to scrape more data at one time, we need to reach the maximum limit of 100 pages. Only then will it fetch a substantial amount of data. However, this was just for demo purposes to show how the tool works. And as we defined the location as the desktop and set the file name, it has exported both of these to our desired location. Unfortunately, MS Excel is not installed on this PC, so I cannot open and show you the files. However, it has given us the data in Excel format. If we want to view it within the software itself, it shows us the email addresses, phone numbers, titles, descriptions, LinkedIn profiles, and the keywords from which the data was fetched. We defined both relevant keywords, founder and CEO. We could also define keywords like founder and model, or founder and actor, and it will fetch data accordingly. This way, we will have clarity and it will be easier to filter the data, distinguishing between data for actors and data for founders. That's all for this video. If you need this software, again, the download link is available in the video description. You can download it from there. Thank you for your time.